What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're gonna dive into the Dread Labs intro. Dread Labs. So, um, the animation that we're gonna do today is the first After Effects tutorial. Um, sadly, I won't be doing the basics of After Effects today. So if you're not experienced with this software, um, I'm not sure if you can actually follow what's going on in here. Um, so uh, I'm sorry for that. So let's just dive into the full pre-comp here. Um, we have some things going on um, and I'll go over them one by one. Um, let's just go over the first effect here. So uh, as you can see, the effect is a little bit different because um, I actually used a video for this um, and I deleted the video in accident, so I had to redo a video. So as you can see, this one is a bit more dark. Um, Anyway, the actual video that I recorded was something along the lines of this. Um, this is because uh, it's just a simple video of me uh, going over some of my uh, stuff in my workplace. As you can see. So how does this get to this, you might be wondering. And let's just go over that. So um, a adjustment layer here. Uh, make sure that we only use two colors here, uh, which are the blacks and the neon green. Um, and we do those with a threshold and a tint. And you can find those effects on under effects and presets like this and here. Okay, so removing this, um, you can see that's kind of noisy here. And then we have two uh, effects that are only visible after the text shows up. So we can just uh, turn those off for now. Um, then another effect that we have is a texture here, uh, which is a photocopy. Just one of these. You can find these on texturefabric.com. I'll put a link in the description. So what this does is um, it has a lot of wiggle effects on it. But as you can see, there's a lot more going on. Um, so um, turning off the threshold effect on the bottom here. Um, will maybe give you a better view of what this does. Well, still, it's pretty incomprehensible. So I'll put the blend mode to, from difference back to normal. And as you can see right now, you can see that the texture is really distorted. This, this is because of the turbulent displays effect. So if we turn that off, you can actually see uh, there's just texture here. Now we have a wiggle position and a wiggle rotation on them. And the wiggle speed is set to 100 and uh, mount to 1000. So this thing moves around 100 times a second. Um, and there's um, uh, around 1000 pixels in between. And for the rotation, this one, uh, it's also uh, 100 wiggle wiggles a second. Uh, but And this thing can rotate freely in 160 degrees. So what this does is... You can basically see there's a lot of different frames going on, um, basically to randomize the texture every uh, single frame in the composition. So um, with that going on, um, we put a threshold on it so you can only see certain aspects of this. So basically, to, basically this is a bit of a complicated noise texture. So if you have this uh, without uh, the blend mode on and with all the effects going on, you just have this so let's just <clears throat> let's just put it back to difference and once we turn it off you can actually see um, another solid and this solid is basically also just a white noise uh, effect um, so we have a fractal noise here uh, which is basically uh, and I put it on a block filter uh, let's just put the blend mode to normal so we can see what we're doing um, so uh, it's just a white filter with a really high contrast. So once we put the contrast down and the brightness down, you can kind of see this is just a white noise filter with only the darkest spots uh, randomizing. And we have a time expression on the, on the evolution, so it will change every frame. And that's that. And we had this on multiply, so we could only see the so there won't be any white coming through. Um, so turning that off, uh, we have the base of this, and this is the, this is the video that we uh, we recorded and I showed you earlier. Um, so it's also really distorted. Um, 
So what we've going on is a turbulent displace filter and a threshold. And removing the threshold, you can actually see what this video is. And like we showed you before, this is just a uh, video of me in my workplace uh, recording something, basically have the camera moving. And combine that with a turbulent displace and a threshold, and you get some randomized noise patterns. So combining all of these noise patterns, you get this. And putting that in an adjustment layer where you can redo the colors and you get this. Um, and then we have the final part, the dread lapse with the distortion. Oh, we turn it off. And then we have the final part where the text is distorting. Um, so basically this is the same texture as the one uh, that we previously discussed. Um, it's just that there's a cut in here, so this will stay dark. Um, so let's just dive into the text glitching pre-comp. Uh, this is also quite simple. Let's just put on the transparency so we can see what we're doing. Um, we have one of the logos here that I exported in Photoshop, and I just made sure that they're kind of the same size. And um, we really just um, made sure that this text was twitching between different fonts on... Um, on the sound of the tech, of the audio of the woman glitching basically so there's really nothing special going on here um, uh, but you might be asking how will and we just we just put this into a pre-comp with a turbulent displays again where the amount is just increasing so here's the, here the distortion is basically set to zero which doesn't show any distortion at all and the further we go into there um, the amount will be turned up to 90 which will distort this text and then once the like audio uh, click comes uh, I just wanted to make the effect more drastic so from here to here it will just go from 90 to 500 in uh, I think 10 frames not even 10 frames so yeah I hope this video has been a little bit useful for you guys um, because I have seen some comments where you were asking how I did my tutorial. Um, the audio that this, um, the audio of the tutorial is uh, made by myself as well, but that's been made in Fruity Loop Studio. So if you're interested in doing uh, me doing Fruity Loop tutorials as well, um, please let me know in the comments, and I'll hope to see you in the next video.